Is your game lagging because your GPU isn't working at full power? Don't worry, in this video, I'll show you how to fix low GPU usage and boost your FPS fast. These steps will make your game smoother, remove lag, and use 100% of your GPU power. So stay tuned, let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description, and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Turn on game mode and make sure Fortnite uses your dedicated GPU. Alright, let's start strong by telling Windows to focus completely on gaming and make sure Fortnite is running on your best GPU. First, open your Windows settings, and in the search bar at the top, type Game Mode. Click on it and turn it on. What this does is super helpful. It automatically reduces background processes like updates, notifications, and random system tasks while you're gaming, so your PC can dedicate all its power to Fortnite. You'll instantly notice smoother gameplay and fewer slowdowns. Next, in the same settings window, type graphics settings in the search bar and click on it. Here's where we'll manually tell Windows which GPU to use for Fortnite. Click Browse and navigate to your Fortnite installation folder. It's usually found in program files or Epic Games. Once inside, go to Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64 and select Fortnite Client Win64Shipping.exe. Click Add, then once it appears in the list, click on it, choose Options, and set it to High Performance before saving. This step forces Fortnite to always use your dedicated graphics card, like an NVIDIA or AMD GPU, instead of your slower integrated graphics. It's a small tweak, but it can make a massive difference to your FPS and smoothness from the start. Step 2. Use Park Control to unlock full CPU power and support GPU. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Now we'll make sure your CPU is running at 100% potential, helping your GPU perform its best too. Download and install a tool called Park Control by Bitsum. Once it's installed, open it up and you'll see different power plans. Select the one labeled Bitsum Highest Performance. This is a custom mode designed specifically to get maximum performance during gaming. Inside the program, you'll notice settings like Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, and Frequency Scaling DC. Set all of these to 100% or simply turn them off, depending on what you see. Doing this disables Core Parking and Frequency Scaling, which are power-saving features that slow your CPU when it's idle. By turning them off, you make sure all CPU cores are active and ready to deliver full performance at all times, which directly helps your GPU push out higher FPS without bottlenecks. After that, turn on the option called Bitsum Dynamic Boost. This clever feature keeps power usage low when you're just browsing or watching videos. To finish this step, open your Windows Power Options, select Bitsum Highest Performance again, click Make Active, and hit Apply. Now your system is fully optimized to run without restrictions, meaning smoother frames, faster response, and fewer lag spikes. Step 3. Make your GPU react faster using MSI Utility Tool. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Now it's time to make your GPU respond faster to what's happening in the game. To do this, download a small program called MSI Mode Utility Tool. You can find the link in your video description. Once opened, you'll see a list of all the hardware devices connected to your PC. Look for your main GPU. It'll usually say NVIDIA GeForce or AMD Radeon depending on your setup. Once you've found it, check the box under the MSI column, then change the interrupt priority to high using the drop-down menu. What this does is give your GPU a higher priority when your system is sending commands, so it reacts quicker and gets the resources it needs faster. If you also see an integrated GPU listed like Intel U UHD Graphics, you can repeat the same step for it, though that's optional. Finally, click Apply at the bottom of the window. These settings help your GPU communicate faster with your CPU, reducing input lag and eliminating stutters. It's one of those behind-the-scenes tweaks that gives your game that instant, snappy feel. In this step, I'm going to show you a reliable tool that can help you get more stable ping while gaming. First, head over to the official Gear Up Booster website using the link in the description and download the tool. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once it's installed, open the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in using your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll see all the games installed on your PC. If you switch to the Games tab, you can also browse thousands of supported titles for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, Fortnite. Click the Boost button and Gear Up will begin optimizing your connection. It will also recommend the best server for you. Next, you'll be asked to choose a server region. For the best connection, select the nearest server to your location. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After that, you can close the window and move to the End tab where you'll see a list of available servers in your chosen region. You can either pick the nearest one yourself or let Gear Up automatically select the best option. I suggest leaving it on automatic for the most stable results. Finally, close the setup window and launch your game directly from Gear Up Booster. 
This process helps reduce ping, improve stability, and make your overall gameplay experience smoother. Step 4. Clean and control RAM usage with ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Now let's talk about RAM. One of the most overlooked parts of performance. When your RAM gets clogged up with standby data, your FPS can drop and your GPU might not get the memory it needs. To fix this, download ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Once you open it, check the top section where it shows your total system memory. If your PC has 32 gigabytes of RAM, type 16,000 in the free memory limit box. If you have 16 gigabytes, type 8,000 instead. This tells ISLC when to automatically clear unused memory before your system gets overloaded. Now check the boxes for start I. ISLC minimized and launch ISLC on user logon so the tool always runs in the background quietly. On the right side, check enable custom timer resolution and set it to 0.50. Then set the polling rate to 1000 for most PCs or 10,000 if your system is very low end. When you're done, click stop, then start and finally hit purge standby list. You'll instantly free up memory that was just sitting there doing nothing. Step five, boost your GPU clock speed with MSI Afterburner. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Now let's unlock even more performance from your graphics card using MSI Afterburner. Don't worry. This process is completely safe as long as we increase things gradually. After installing and opening MSI Afterburner, you'll see sliders for power limit, temperature limit, core clock, and memory clock. First, move the power limit and temperature limit sliders all the way to the right. This allows your GPU to draw more power and maintain higher performance when gaming. Next, focus on the memory clock slider. Increase it slowly. Start with plus 20, click apply, and test Fortnite. If everything runs fine, increase it to plus 40, then plus 60, and so on. When you eventually see graphical glitches or crashes, move it back to the last stable setting. Once you've found your stable overclock, click apply again to save. This simple fine tuning can significantly increase your FPS and responsiveness especially in fast-paced fights, builds, or high-action moments in Fortnite. Step 6. Make your keyboard respond faster with filter keys. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Set or even your keyboard can cause minor input delay if Windows filter settings are not optimized. To fix that, open the Filter Keys Setter tool. You'll see three options you can adjust. Ignore. Under. Set this to zero milliseconds so every key press is detected immediately, no matter how fast you tap. Repeat delay. Set this to 130 milliseconds to allow quick key presses without delays. Repeat rate. Set this to 10 milliseconds to make repeated key presses faster, perfect for building or editing quickly in Fortnite. After setting those values, check the box to enable the filter key behavior, then click OK. This change might seem small, but it can drastically improve how responsive your keyboard feels in-game. It's especially useful if you play competitively or rely on fast building and weapon swapping. Step 7. Speed up Windows. Start up by turning off extra background apps. Finally, let's make sure your PC boots faster and keeps more performance available for gaming. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape to open the Task Manager. If it opens in a small window, click More Details at the bottom to expand it. Then click the Startup tab. Here, you'll see a list of all apps that start when your computer turns on. Go through the list carefully and disable any apps you don't need to launch automatically, things like Spotify, Discord, or Adobe updaters. To disable one, right-click on it and choose Disable. Don't worry, this doesn't delete the app. It just stops it from starting up right away. This simple cleanup helps your PC start faster, reduces memory usage, and ensures that more CPU and GPU power is available for Fortnite. For low-end PCs especially, this can make a big difference to your performance right after booting. If this helped you, drop a like, leave a comment with your FPS results, and subscribe for more performance and gaming optimization guides. Let's keep your PC running like a beast, even if it's a low-end one.